Welcome. Today we are going to learn about the compare and contrast between the PUC 18 and the PUC 19 vectors. Both of these vectors, they are the E. coli cloning vectors and it is also allowing the manipulation of the foreign DNA fragment. Here, there, uh, there is the structure of both of the plasmid vectors. It is a PUC18 and the PUC19. When you look at the PUC18 and the PUC19, both of them, it has the same base pairs and that it is a 2686 base pairs. And both of these plasmids, it is having the two selectable markers. One, it is ampicillin resistant gene. Okay. And the second one, it is the lag set. Okay. One, it is the ampicillin resistant gene and the second one, it is the lag Z. And here for the cloning, okay, for the cloning purpose, there is a use of the second marker and that it is a lag Z. So in the lag Z, there is a presence of the multiple cloning site, okay, in both of the plasmid vectors, PUC18 and the PUC19, the MCS, that is a multiple cloning site, which is allowing the cloning of the foreign DNA fragment into the vector it is where it is into the lag set and both of the plasmids they are encoding the part of the beta galactosidase and that it is the alpha peptide that is this lag set it is allowing the coding of the alpha peptide which is involved into the alpha complementation okay so here and the part of the beta galactosidase that is the alpha peptide it is encoded into where it is encoded by the puc18 and the puc19 and both of them okay both of them it has a regulatory sequences okay it is the lac r binding site that is a lac repressor binding site and there is a p lac that is a promoter from the lac operon Okay, that is a lag promoter, it is present. Okay, lag promoter, it is present into both the PUC18 and the PUC19. And both of these plasmids, okay, both of these plasmids, it is derived from, both of these plasmids, it is derived from the vector and that vector, it is a PBR322. And from the PBR322, the PUC18 and the PUC19, it has the ampicillin resistant gene, Okay, and it has the origin of replication. Okay, it has the origin of replication. It is a PMB1 origin of replication. Okay, both of these origin of replication, PMB1 from the PUC18 and the PMB1 origin of replication of the PUC19, it is differing from the origin of replication of the PBR322 by one base pair. That is the, the, that is, there is the point mutation, okay, there is a point mutation into the PMB1 origin of replication and that point mutation, it is allowing both of the plasmid as the high copy number plasmid, okay, here the plasmid PUC18 and the PUC19, they are the high copy number plasmids and this it is due to what? This it is due to the point mutation into the PMB1 origin of replication, which is now defective into the regulation of the replication of the plasmids. Here the gene which has been mutated, that it is the ROPG, it has been mutated so that the control over the replication has been lost and the both of the plasmids now they are now in a high copy number. Okay, so here in this way, there is the characteristics of the PUC18 and the PUC19. But then what is the difference? All things, they are same into these plasmids. PUC18, PUC19, both of them, they are the cloning vectors. Both of them, plasmids, they are harboring the lag Z gene in which there will be the cloning. Okay. And uh, uh, that lag Z which is involved into the alpha complementation. And both of the plasmids, it is allowing the selection of the recombinant by the blue white selection. Then what is the difference? Here difference between the PUC18 and the PUC19, it is in the orientation of these multiple cloning site. Okay, here there are the 20, okay, there are the 20 restriction sites which are present into this multiple cloning site. But when you look at, okay, when you look at the orientation of this multiple cloning site, it is how it is opposite to each other. Okay, you can see here it is opposite to each other. It is the only difference between, between the PUC18 and the PUC19 plasmid. Otherwise, both of the plasmid, they are very similar to each other. 
Okay, I think you may have understood the difference between the PUC 18, PUC 19. Okay, so if you are like my video, please subscribe my channel and also share my video with your friends so the knowledge it is going to spread. Thank you.